everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am excited to be filming again. It's been a little while, or it feels like it's been forever, but yes. So today I'm going to be talking about bedding options for your chinchilla cage. Now a while ago I came across a Facebook post of someone who said chinchillas don't need fleece in their cage and it was kind of obvious that they wanted to start an argument about it um, because fleece is the most popular option or the most popular choice that people use to line their chinchilla cage with. So in today's video I want to tell you about the different options you have because yes fleece is the most popular but you do have other options if you don't want to use fleece. So fleece is a very popular choice because it comes in so many colours so you can do your own theme if you want. Lots of people do nice cage themes and it's all very pretty. Also you just shake the poo off and shake the hay off or you just vacuum it off and then you put the fleece in the washing machine and reuse it so obviously it's a more sustainable option as well. So anti-pull fleece, which is the type of fleece that you use, is difficult for them to chew. So that's why it's also a very good option because if you use a material that they can chew then the little fibers and the threads can get stuck around their teeth which as you can imagine is horrible and also other options of like toweling um, the way the material is with all those little fibers that's also something that they can get toes stuck in as well so that's also not a good option but some people don't like fleece because they don't think it's very absorbent and my response to that is that you should I wouldn't say just use fleece like just one layer of fleece you should get cage liners so it will be like a little I don't know think of it as like a little duvet so you've got the fleece and in the middle there's an absorbent layer that like toweling or when people make their own cage liners sometimes they um, put in what's like known in America as that U-Haul fabric or those it's basically those moving blankets you know when you move house and they put those grey blankets over your furniture so it doesn't get damaged that stuff um, and that's also quite cheap so you know that's what you would use to make it more absorbent and also in that case, that material, the toweling or those moving blankets is in between the fleece so they can't get to that and they can't chew that. So I have made my own cage liners and that before. I'm not that good at sewing. For some reason I just can't sew a straight line. So don't judge me on the quality of these. Um, yes. <laughs> so this is like a level cover I made. This goes in Star and Pepper's cage. I just well there's a cage tour of their cage on my channel you can go check that out but yes yeah, so here it is this has got that moving blanket in between it and it's also just got these hooks on it so that it doesn't fly off the cage when they're running around it and it's got yellow at the back yeah look look at my beautiful um sewing uh, yeah it's great but anyway i use this to cover their wire levels and then this is just the cage liner to match. Yes, very big. That's also got the moving blanket in between. Here's a pink one. This is Bubbles. One goes in her cage. Or I mean it could be used in other cages. It was made for Bubbles, but anyway. So those, that's what I use. I use fleece because it's just very pretty. And if you buy fleece, and the moving blankets it's really not that expensive so making your own is a very good option but I understand if you don't have a sewing machine at home then obviously you can't do it in which case there are so many pet bedding stores like um, a very what, do, what am I saying um, one of my favorites one that I thoroughly support on this channel as you know is mad about hedgies and it's a great place because that business does support rescues and donates um, bedding to rescues and is associated with rescues. So a definitely a very good company business and I've done a review on their stuff, amazing quality. So check them out. Okay, so moving on from fleece, the next bedding choice is wood shavings. So I've heard of people using pine shavings um, 
it's kind of a controversial topic as you would know pine there's it's a very iffy thing like if you with pine you have to get the dried untreated pine it has to be dried you can't buy these um pine stuff where it says wet off the saw or treated things obviously you don't want chemicals you know with your pets so you have to get pine that's safe and then even if it's that dried and untreated pine then some people are still there's a whole debate whether it's still safe because it could cause respiratory um, infections and stuff so there is that option but it's kind of debated a safer wood shavings option is aspen shavings so there's that option which is safe then the next one is actually something that isn't safe so I just want to mention this paper based bedding such as carefresh bedding is not safe for chinchillas the reason for this is that there has been a documented case of a chinchilla dying from it they ingested the bedding and it because um, the paper based bedding is supposed to absorb you know moisture and that from you know when your animals pee on it when it was ingested it's um, expanded in the chinchilla stomach and then that's how the chinchilla died so that's why paper based bedding care fresh is a big no-no for chinchillas and then with that some people would say oh but if I put it in the litter box and it's got like a wire mesh on top then they can't get to that and I understand that but then it's also kind of a, a thing where it's like but it's got the wire mesh which is kind of risky because they can get toes and feet stuck into it but then people say yeah but they're not on the litter box most of the time it's only when they go there to pee mm, but yeah that, that's a different topic also with mentioning the pine shavings aspen shavings and even the um, paper based bedding I just don't know how I feel about having a loose bedding option for chinchillas because I just imagine them running around being so crazy and then they just like kick that shavings everywhere out of the cage so if you don't have some kind of um, little poop guard on the bottom of your cage that bedding is going to be all out of your cage yeah so I, I don't see that working but if you have some kind of barrier then that could work but also if you have like um, a cage that has a plastic bottom then when they kick that substrate around then they have access to that plastic which they can then chew so there's also that the next bedding option you have is tile so tile is very nice because it is easier to clean um, you know you'll just sweep the poo off and then you if you have a litter box that works nicely if your chinchilla isn't litter box trained then it's kind of eh because they'll pee on the tile and they'll become like sticky and not nice so that you gotta think about that but a lot of people really do like tile um, you know because it's just easier than having fleece because with the fleece like you you have to brush all the poo and the hay off so it's kind of like a lot of effort to people whereas tile it's easier to brush the poo off so yes tile is a good option and you'll get either ceramic or porcelain tiles and nothing with like a lot of texture on the tile because I don't know I think that would irritate their feet maybe um, yes you don't have to worry about them like slipping on the tile I don't think that's an issue at all if you do choose to get tile then I would kind of suggest to make sure that your chinchilla has like a hammock or one of those hanging cubes just something where they can rest off of the hard surface of the tile that's just my opinion and then with the tile or I mean with it cleaning any cage what you'll do is you'll like I said you're going to sweep it off but then also probably use um, something to just wipe down the tile so you know a popular option is the diluted vinegar you know you mix a tiny bit of vinegar in water that's a safe option for pets that you'll have to wipe the tile down so yes those are your bedding options if you have chinchillas I hope this video was helpful I've been asked a couple of times 
like what are the bedding options for chinchillas so I'm glad I finally have a video about it so that I can just give a video to people when they ask. I hope you found this video informative and helpful and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!